See me, I ain't, I ain't quite as I'm uh, accepting or forgiving for um, repeat offenders, you know what I mean? L let's not act like this guy, Luis Ortiz, doesn't have a history of using banned substances, you know what I mean? The man has been caught before. I don't, I can't quite remember if it's twice. I know one time it was with um, the African cat, uh, Latif Coyote, you know what I mean? And that fight got declared a non-contest, you know what I mean? Now, this uh, particular um, high blood pressure thing, man, Lorsetan, you know what I mean? I know all about Lorsetan, you know what I'm saying? I've gone numerous times to the pharmacy get my pops some Lorsetan, you know what I mean? Them fellas have, have um, the high blood pressure, you check it? <clears throat> now, from what I know about this thing, you know, it's also could be used to mask other um, bad substances, you know what I'm saying? If this guy, Luis Ortiz, has high blood pressure... Yeah, I actually I absolutely know why he has high blood pressure. Because of the possibility of getting knocked the fuck out by Deontay Wilder, straight up and down. You can't tell me. This is three times in a row, baby boy. Three times in a row, fighters have tested positive for a bad substance. Povetkin tested positive for a bad substance while they had to fight Chris Ariola. That other one, dude... Wajawaki was whatever, whatever the fuck his name is, that European dude, a dude who I, I seen fight. Uh, was it Tony Bellew? I can't even remember, man. But that guy tested positive while they had to fight Gerald Washington. Now, you can't tell me it's a coincidence, man. Three three times in a row, three fighters have been testing positive so uh, in order to fight the man Deontay Wilder. That's exactly why this man got high blood pressure. Let's not get fooled. Let's not make excuses, man. Let's not make excuses, you know what I mean? This guy, Luis Ortiz, has a history, you know what I mean? He's a predicate when it comes to doing these um, banned substances, you know what I mean? One, time's, one time is I. Right. You get caught up one time, okay, you get caught up one time. But when you're a repeat offender, man, I can't take you seriously, man. I can't take this guy seriously. I already know what's really good, you know what I mean? This guy's been taking a bad substance, Lorsetan, probably the mask, other... Um, um, uh, um, performing enhancing drugs in his system, you know what I mean? Let's not give this guy a pass, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's up to the WBC and them to find out what's really good, whether this guy can continue on with the fight or if, you know what I mean? But, no, we can't give this guy a pass, you know what I mean? Let's stop making excuses for this guy. You check it. Wilder's life is on the line anytime he got to step in there with these drug cheats, you know what I mean? You check it. We we already know Wilder. He he been down with the WBC Vada clean boxing program. You know what I'm saying? This the first time this guy is uh, probably been caught by Vada because he's fighting for the WBC strap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you wanted that world title so bad, you forgot which um which realm you jumped in. Fuck it with the WBC because you're gonna have to um, get down with that Vada clean boxing testing program. You check it. So, nah, this guy, Luis Ortiz, I'm not giving him no pass. You know what I mean? Whether he fights Wilder, that's up to um, Wilder. If he wants to still fight him, the WBC, if they say this fight is off, that that's not in my hands. But what I do know is I'm not giving this guy, Luis Ortiz, no fucking pass. You know what I mean? That's out. You check it. When I was seeing Luis Ortiz live, believe you me, I was going for Tony Thompson. Tony Thompson from D.C. Tony Thompson could walk from his house to the D.C. Armory. So I'm going to always root for the home guy. But on the real for real, I went to that fight on the strength of seeing Jesse Vargas versus um, Saddam Ali. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've always been fishy about this guy. I love Cuban boxers. No question about it, man. If you know my channel, I'm always down with the cu Cubano boxers from Lara, from, from um, Gamboa back in the G. I like the guy Ugas. I like um, Rigondeaux. All them Cuban boxers, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm Sullivan Barrera. I like what he's doing. But this guy I was never fond of. I wasn't too um, high on this guy. You know what I mean? Straight up and down. He could. He sh I should be right. He knocking fellas out. He's a south boy. He can box. He can brawl. He's knocking fellas out. But once you take a bad substance to me, man, you know, your credibility gets kind of shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. It is. It is. And this guy, Luis Ortiz, this guy's a repeat offender. And I'm hearing fellas giving him passes and shit, man. And I don't get it, man. This guy's trying to end Deontay Wilder's life because he knows Deontay Wilder could end his life in the squared circle without a bad substance because he's a natural country-fed um, Alabama kid, you know what I mean? Naturally country-strong. You check it? This other guy right here, look, I don't know exactly how old he is, you know? Some fellas say he's 43, you know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure how old he is, but one thing for sure, two things for certain. 
this guy was t coming in the ring with bad intentions, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I'm sure these guys got a guideline. You get fucking tested by VADA. If you everybody knows the VADA clean boxing testing program, every day of the year, 365, 365... The um days in the year, you gotta let Vada know where you at. You know what I'm saying? They could pop up on you at any time. You know what I mean? You could be sexing your shorty in your bedroom. They could knock on your hotel, um, your hotel door. You know what I'm saying? You could be playing with your kids at the playground and they pop up on you. You know what I mean? Anytime, anywhere. And I'm sure there's guidelines, restrictions, and there's a list of what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to the Vada Clean Boxing Testing Program. You know what I mean? So. Luis Ortiz, you know, you really disappointed me, but I'm not surprised. Deontay Wilder just puts that kind of fear in these fighters, you know what I mean? I mean, goddamn, you seen what Deontay Wilder do to fellas, man. Yeah, you could beat him. Spilka was up by a point, maybe, or maybe Wilder was up by a point by the time of that stoppage on my card. I had Wilder down against, um, fucking, what's that last guy he fought? What's the last guy he fought? Gerald Washington, you know what I'm saying? But Deontay Wilder could change the fight straight up and down with just one punch i don't think luis ortiz believes in himself to the to the point where he could do the same to deontay wilder he could feel like he could outbox deontay wilder for 11 rounds 12th round he could get sparked out like mickey bay did by um john molina be marsh boxing don't give this fucking guy a pass please do not give this guy a pass he knows what he's doing he's a professional he check it I don't give a fuck if he has high blood pressure. That's because he has to face Deontay Wilder. This man is nervous as fuck. Be Marsh Box and leave your thoughts and comments and quit giving this guy a pass. I'm gone.